exciting. Regulating short-term rentals is the goal of a bill that's making its way through the legislature. Now, the proposal would impose state rules and taxes on properties that are rented out through companies like Airbnb. Some are all for it. Others say, though, it is a bad move. Sasha Loft is joining us now live near Rancho and Oki with what the proposed changes could mean. Sasha? Denise, as you can see, this neighborhood, like so many across the Las Vegas Valley, is peaceful and quiet. But those who live here worry this bill could just really turn things upside down. So they're asking lawmakers to consider other options. We're hurt and frustrated. Laura McSwain says she's concerned for the future of her home. We're really, really nervous about what the impact of this is going to be on our neighborhood. McNeil Estates near Rancho and Oki is safe and quiet, but McSwain worries a bill moving through the Nevada legislature could change that. It puts a, an additional level of compliance on top of what they've got. AB 363 would establish rules, enforcement guidelines, and taxes. Says she's concerned for the future of her home. We're really, really nervous about what the impact of this is going to be on our neighborhood. McNeil Estates near Rancho and Oki is safe and quiet, but McSwain worries a bill moving through the Nevada legislature could change that. It puts a, an additional level of compliance on top of what they've got. AB 363 would establish rules, enforcement guidelines, and taxes for short-term rentals across the state. The part of this is really to enforce compliance along that lines so that the jurisdiction knows who's got short-term rentals. Experts say the bill, which proponents call a step in the right direction, would allow another level of regulation. We just feel like if we'd have been invited into the conversation sooner, um, A, there wouldn't be the level of frustration. But McSwain believes it wasn't thought through as it could allow more rental properties in one place and override a city ordinance many prefer. It allows us to have continuity with our neighbors, you know, because we do have an owner there present on the property. That's why she's asking lawmakers to reconsider and understand what this change could mean for everyone. Well, the thing that I think that they should consider is the fact that we weren't considered. Now, AB 363, which was introduced by Assemblywoman Rochelle Wynn back in March, has not gone yet to a vote through the Assembly or the Senate. We will, of course, keep you posted as it progresses through the legislature. Reporting live in Las Vegas tonight, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now.